Good morning! Oh, crazy hair. It's Lori. Welcome to my crazy life. I'm freezing. Um, it is May 9th and it's 35 stinking degrees outside. What? I know, it's cold. But I have to go to Costco and I figure first thing in the morning is the best time to go. So we're going to do that. Um, I brought my mask. We'll be wearing this one today. I went through all my fabrics and used up all my materials and made myself several masks. They're reversible. Um, but I have two in here that need to be washed. So you wear them once and then you wash them. So <laughs> These are the two that are still in the car, but I need to take them inside and throw them in the laundry, which will happen today. So I have those ready to go. Um, but we'll wear this one in the store. I may have to stop and get coffee because I'm freezing. What do you think? Starbucks? I think so too. I have not left my house in all... I definitely haven't been out all week. Um, I know that for sure. Days are running into each other, but that's okay. It's nice and sunny out, which is beautiful, but I need to get outside. I need some sunshine in my life. I want to ride my bike. I want to go for walks and I don't want to be so cold. It is going to be 50 today, which is good. If there's not oh too many people at Costco, I will video in there and show you some of the things that my store has as we're walking through and grabbing the things that I need. I'm out of definitely, I really like Scent Booster, the Dawn, or is it Snuggle? I don't remember. I think it's Tide, Dawn, something. Anywho, they have the scent booster at Costco. And it's a big bottle and it lasts me a long time. So I put a quarter of a cup in every wash that I do. Um, so I enjoy that. Uh, what else is going on? What else do I need? Oh, ground meat. I don't have any beef. I'm running out of meat, particularly like beef, chicken, don't have really much. I've got chicken wings in the freezer. What I would love to get is a big pack of chicken thighs. If they have it, it would be fabulous. Um, I love grilled chicken thighs. And I was watching the Wads, love her. And um, she got, I think it's in her frozen meat section, but it's one pound logs of frozen ground beef individually packaged in a five pound pack and I really would like that because that's perfect portioning for me so I'm looking for that if they have my steaks I may pick up my pack of steaks while I'm out and about I know my hair I didn't wash it today it's gross but I don't I don't wash my hair every day for sure um but today we're it's just long I need to get it cut they have announced, so like I said, today's the 9th, so right now it's still takeout food, um, essential stores, that type of thing. Um, the 12th, so Tuesday, the 12th, I think it is, they are opening up, in Ohio, we are opening up our stores, um, like just general shopping stores. Now, from what I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, so I'm not 100% sure, but I, they have to limit the amount of people in the store. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I missed my entrance to Starbucks. Um, it's 50% of fire code. So if your store could hold 100 people, they only want you to put in, allow 50 in, I think. Restaurants, I believe, is like 25%. I'm hearing a lot of numbers, and I didn't listen to the governor um, this week. I've had training. Our governor speaks at 2 p.m. every day, and Dr. Amy Acton, we love her. Oh, sorry, Blair. She speaks at 2 o'clock every day. Um which is great, except for I have a meeting now this week every day at 2 o'clock. I've been in meetings, so I've missed the details. However, 
I believe it's the restaurants are going to be able to open on the 20th, bars and restaurants, 25% capacity, and um, hairdressers are going to be opening on the 15th, so I can call in. I'll wait. I'll give her time. Uh, my hairdresser, Sarah, I love her. Um, her, I'll let her get her, you know, people in. I'm not too terribly bad. Let's order coffee. May I have a venti blonde roast with sugar-free uh, vanilla and cream? No classic. Cream, no. You said the blonde roast, right? Yes, please. Okay. That's, right. That's it. Thank you. Uh-huh. I need coffee. Um, speaking of coffee, disaster this morning. I'm working on a pretty large, for me anyway, project. Cross stitch. I'll show it to you later. And it's on a gray background. So normally I would do like coffee tea dyed background. And then this situation wouldn't have mattered. However, not coffee tea dyed. This is gray. And flipping spilled my coffee on it. Walked by and it sloshed. I think I got all the coffee out. I dabbed it, dabbed it, dabbed it with... Um, some warm water dipped in Dawn. So let's hope for the best. However, um, the one I'm using uh, over dyed floss and it's not color fast or I would have just ran hot water or warm water over the project and if I was just using DMC. This is not DMC and if you add too much water it will run. Let it'll like bleed. I'm excited. <laughs> Have a good one. That was nice. I love my Starbucks. They're very... Okay, other than at Christmas time when I wanted the, uh, the cup and they wouldn't let me have it with a sugar-free drink. It's all good. Um, so we're going to Costco. Yes. And if you heard me... Um, we have been told as of June the 1st, my work, that we will be rotating back through the office, but, um, we will not all be in the office at the same time for sure. It will definitely be, uh, a rotate through my office. I wish I could show you, but I can't. We, it's called a collaborative workspace. So this is all new in the last couple of years. Uh, two years ago, I think they moved us to this new building. My bank that I work for bought an old grocery store in a neighborhood that really needed something to be in that grocery store. I mean, it's not, it's not the best of neighborhoods, but I will tell you, we've not really had any problems, so. Although we do have security and things. Anyway, so they bought an old grocery store and rehabbed it, made it, it feels very warehouse-like, so the high ceilings are still there, and then they made neighborhoods, so my area, I think there's 170 desks, 180, 170 desks in my area, and they're rows. Each person has their own desk, phone and computer, laptop, or whatever. Oh, I mean, I can touch my neighbor. If I reach my, if we reach our arms out, we're touching. It's very close quarters. Um, it's very modern. Our desks stand and lower. They're electric. It's great. I mean, it's very modern and very, you know, ergonomic and the whole shebang. The problem is we don't have cubicle walls to protect each other from virus and germs and we don't we're not six feet apart we sit you know three feet apart so that's a problem with coronavirus and it really kind of been saying that since we moved into this building that you know one person on your team gets sick any kind of sick everybody on your team is going to end up with it it just goes right and it's very obvious it goes right down the line you just 
I, um, in February, I think if you remember, probably not, but if you were watching, I was really sick in February. Um, I got some, I don't know what it was, to be honest with you. It could have been COVID for all I know. I got some kind of chest infection, chest bug. It lasted about three weeks, very dry cough. Um, I was having a hard time breathing. My oxygen saturation was fine. I did go to the doctor and they just said it was viral. Now, um, I had a coworker over, her little son was there and he was coughing and then, but you know, kids cough. He's in daycare, so it's obvious, but he coughed and I was playing with him. So it was just assumed I picked up what he had. A couple days later, he went to the doctor and was tested and he had flu A. I assumed I had flu A, and then within three or four days, my neighbor, who sits right next to me, got so sick. She was on breathing treatments, out of work for a week, was tested, came back flu A. So I don't, you don't know. I mean, we'll know years from now who had what. But I guess my point is, I was sick at the end of February, was back, I went to work. Three days later, my coworker comes down with it and was knocked on her butt. It's just not a conducive work environment for health. So it's funny, you know, I know there's a lot of talk with this COVID and all of that of um, the negatives sure there's a lot of negatives but I'm choosing seriously to look at this as a reset on life like you I am forced to be home and slow down and think about the things I'm doing and do things with more you know not just running around and shopping and run you know willy-nilly willy-nilly with purpose I have, you know, I'm more moving around the world with purpose. I need to go to Costco. I waited till I was out of specific things. I'm going. I've got a list. I have a purpose to be there. I'm not just going to wander around and pick up, you know, see what I can find. At work, you know, working in that environment, we knew the risks because we were sitting that close to people and saw how it worked. But the higher ups who created this model and rightfully so, it's beautiful and it's wonderful. This wasn't conceptualized that people were gonna get sick and everybody was gonna get sick and you were gonna have entire teams sick. So now we have this coronavirus that comes around and we're all being forced to look at how we operate our lives. And I'm just gonna choose to take it as a, a plus. A positive. I'm slowing down. I am looking at how I move about the world, how I interact with people, and not just rushing through life. So there's my 14 minute babble about why I am choosing joy and happiness during this not so joyful happiness time because I'm just trying to look at it and not be so upset and sad about it, but more, and am I sad? Sure, I, I'm lonely, I'm home alone, I do this by myself. My niece is in the same boat, we FaceTime, or I think it's called house party, Zoom, house party, they're all kind of the same. We do that every day, or you know, I talk to her every day. And that really helps, and my cats, I love them. But also, tackling the list of things that I created in January and I've even added to my list today's chore that I'm gonna do is I'm putting all my winter clothes away even though it's freaking cold putting all of my winter clothes away and I'm going to pull out my summer clothes like that's a big chore for me because if you remember all the clothing that I have amassed from Lane Bryant over the last few months. I've got quite the stash of clothing to go through. I'm gonna purge, so a lot of it will be donated, some of it will be sold, like I have um, Upcycle. I'm just gonna send some stuff to them and also maybe open up a Poshmark because I have some things that are expensive that are brand new that I can put on Poshmark. So, 
one of the things that I got from that Lane Bryant haul was when I went and did the warehouse sale, bathing suits. I like I swim a lot. I love swimming. I go to the beach. I vacation. Um, Lane Bryant sells the bathing suit style that I absolutely love. Um, I've told you this a million times. I have a very long torso and short legs. It's my family trait. My oldest brother is six foot four inches tall and he has a 30 inch or 32 inch inseam. We all have very long torso and short legs. Just power built. So bathing suits are a challenge for me. I either have to buy long torso plus size or go with like a tankini which has to be very long or it's going to be too short for me and I'll be wearing a bikini basically but Lane Bryant carries these tankinis that are called blouson it's b-l-o-u-s-o-n the top is blousey so it has a band around the waist it's tight and holds it where not tight but snug holds it where it needs to be but the middle where I carry my weight is very loose and blousey love it love it the top is cute there's like a bikini top under it and then this over thing and it's very flattering it's very um, cute and it's very well made and they last a long time I have one bathing suit that I've had for years and through my weight loss, all I've had to do was tighten, I tightened up the shoulder straps on it because I love it. It's this bright orange and it's not lost color. It hasn't stretched out. It hasn't, it's just really in good shape still. So anyway, when I was at the um, warehouse sale, the sample sale at Lane Bryant, I picked up four bathing suit tops that these run $69 a piece. Um, one was for a coworker. I had already given that to her. I'm not sure what the construction is going on here. By the way, yes, I'm on the road, but there's like four cars out here. It's very quiet. Anyway, I picked up four. One is red, white, and blue striped. One is like a, a blue with flowers. One is like a teal. And then there's one that I don't love. I grabbed it because it's in my size and I wasn't you know you just kind of grab things when I went to the sample sale I don't love it do I need it no I have I have three bathing suits cut well, actually more than that I've got a couple one piece and I've got a lot of bathing suits so I'm gonna de-stash the one that I don't love if I don't love the bathing suit top then it can go because I have plenty but I do need to get bottoms um, but quite frankly, Walmart bottoms, Kohl's bottoms, I don't need to spend the $65 for the bottom. Um, that's for sure. I can get plain bottoms and I just need plain black, blue. I did pick up one navy blue one I haven't tried on yet. Just, I think that would match the red, white, and blue top. But anyway, so I need to do that today. I'm babbling, guys. Anyway, my thought was for my thought where I start, started this was I have made this list in January and my planner of the things kind of what I would consider larger household projects that I wanted to get done in 2020 like over the whole year one was um, painting my kitchen cabinets cleaning out under the bathroom sinks my front hall closet is in desperate need to be purged and cleaned and organized we're going to do that together but that's a huge job that needs to be done um I don't have the list in front of me but there's plenty of plenty of plenty of stuff on the list that needs to be taken care of so I'm working my way through that list I mean I've got these weekend hours that I really don't have much to do I can't you know normally I would be working my part-time job plus making videos and again rushing through life so now I'm home we are going to take advantage and we have been I mean I've been home now since the middle of March um, so yeah all right I should stop babbling what do you think I'm enjoying my coffee we're gonna pull into Costco it 
depending on how busy it is and if I can video while I'm in the store, that might be its own separate video. But maybe not. I don't know. And I'll probably bring you along with me a little bit today, this weekend. Again, depending on how much clothing purging I go through and get done, I'll bring you along with that. Um, mostly it's going to be putting away winter clothes and then pulling out the totes of summer clothes, spring, summer. So I typically do spring, summer, and then fall, winter is my wardrobe, how it usually plays out. And then I have some pieces that can be either um, a lot of my like, oh, my nose itches, uh, shells that I wear under cardigans in the winter are really just t-shirts and I can wear in the summer, so whatevs. All right, let's get, stop talking, Lori. Let's get to work here. I will see you in Costco. All right, I just got out of Costco. Whew. It was a zoo in there. Sorry, I couldn't. No. Excuse me. Hence the coffee, guys. Which I should have got on my way out because now I couldn't bring it in because you can't drink with a mask. It's fine. I spent $56.05. I don't know what I saved $4 on. Oh, sunblock. Um, let's get out of here, shall we? They, I need sunblock, obviously. I ride my bike a fair amount, even though it's flipping 30 degrees out here today. It'll get warm eventually. Um, but I got, they had sunblock. Um, 50, which is what I try to use. 35 to 50, basically. Sorry, my nose is itching still. Um, because, summer, duh. Oh, the sunblock that I bought was on sale for $12.97, which is fabulous. But also, it's reef safe. So it's okay, better for the environment to wear, oops, to wear in the ocean because it doesn't have some of the harmful chemicals that regular, normal, commercial sunblock has. It's fine, I mean, I don't, either way, mostly I'll be swimming in a pool this summer. However, I do ride my bike a lot, like I said. But this um, June, we'll see what life is like in the world. My cousin, um, her family, we go to Florida, and they wanna go in June, and they usually drag me along with them, which is always fun. So, um, and her mom lives down in Pensacola. So we may go in Flo to Florida in June. It just honestly depends. I have the week off. I had requested it a long time ago. We were supposed to be in Ireland on this week in June, which I was irritable at the time that we didn't book it, but it looks like at the end of the day, it was for the best because we would have had to have canceled. So anyway, what I get at Costco? I got my chicken thighs, which I like chicken thighs. I like chicken breasts. I like all the chickens, but chicken thighs have a little more juice to them. They're a little fattier and have some dark meat, and they're really good on the grill. Um, the reason I prefer to buy them here is it's a big package, and I'll show you when I get home, but it's individual serving packages in one big package if you've never been to Costco. So I can, I will cut them apart, separate them, throw them in the freezer, and then when I want chicken for me as a single lady, I'll just pull out one package, and it's a small, probably like four, I would say four to six thighs maybe. I don't really know how many thighs are in there. I know on the chicken breasts, I believe it's two to three, maybe four, who knows. Anyway, I got chicken thighs. Um, they all, they didn't have the ground beef in the smaller, in the freezer section, in the tubes that's um, five one pound packages is what I wanted. They only had the big fresh ground, which is great, but then I'd have to take it home and deal with it and I didn't really want to do that. So I ended up buying a piece of beef 
that was our, like a beef steak that was already cooked and sliced and I just have to eat it. So that's fine. I, I mean, it's definitely that'll be something I will eat for one week and it was like $10, but that's obviously not price conducive if you're a family. I mean, I guess it is. It's $10 and you'll, it's, you know, maybe four servings. So that's a kind of a high amount, I think, for a protein, but for me, it'll last me one whole week. When I eat that, I have no idea. I'll probably do salad, like steak salad one week. Who knows? And then I picked up some cucumbers and strawberries. Is that it? Chicken. Sunblock was $12.97, but that's not too bad for two big cans. I know I have sunblock kicking around my house. I just have to, A, locate it. And I use a lot of sunblock in the summertime. Like, a lot. Especially, I'm very fair. I burn easy. I already have sun damage. Now, I will buy separate face sunblock that I put on when I'm out in the sun. And then I have the spray for my body. Um, plus, if I go on vacation to the beach, we all just share. And so... Ever, you know, I'll go through a couple cans with all of this just spraying down. There'll be five of us if we go. So that's fine. And actually, something interesting if for face sunblock, if you have an HSA account like I do, you can go on to the FSA store and use your HSA account, your card, and buy. And I feel like I can use it to buy sunblock at. Target, or I mean, at like CVS, I think I can use it to buy sunblock there. So I'll pick up more sunblock when it goes, you know, on sale and stuff. But this was a good price and it was a good product, so I'm okay with that. Plus, if you do the beach, you really want to be environmentally friendly and get something that doesn't kill the barrier reefs in the ocean. My two cents. All right, I'm going home hungry. I haven't had breakfast yet. I'll eat something and then figure out what we're going to do for the rest of the day. Here's what I got. I did stop at Target too. I needed charcoal. I'm not showing you the charcoal, but I bought a big bag of charcoal. But look at these strawberries, guys. Now everything's been wiped down before I brought it in, but look at those strawberries. These are like $3.29 for 32 ounces. So that's not bad at all. And they look good. I'm going to slice them up, put some of my um, Lakanto monk fruit sweetener on them, and I'm going to make an almond cake. And we're going to have strawberry shortcake. Yeah, we are. And then this was the meat I was telling you about. Grass-fed sliced beef sirloin. If this is good, this is definitely something I would buy and take on vacation. How easy would that be to make a bunch of chicken salad? Or chicken? Come on, girl. Uh, steak salad. Because we get a condo when we do local like travel within the united states so that would be perfect so we'll see how that goes and it's already sliced haha -ha. here's the sunscreen i got it's 50 it is water resistant for 80 minutes broad spectrum 100 percent natural fragrance this is coconut and it doesn't have any oxybenzone oxynoxate nanoparticles and it and no animal testing i like that a lot i think that's very responsible and i like it I need to get some face and we're good. Um, and then this is what I was talking about packaging wise with the chicken thighs. I'm going to separate these by cutting between. There's two separate seal pouches. And then, that's heavy. There's all your chicken thighs. And there's one, two, three, there's six packages of that. And that is a couple days meals for me. Like, I could probably eat a week off of that one of these, depending what I made with it. So that's a good deal for me. And I think that was $14, maybe $15, not 100%. I don't know where my receipt is. And then I picked up somebody, and I can't remember your name, and I'm so sorry, um, put a, a recipe with cucumber and I think dill and mayonnaise. We're going to try that. I'm going to have to look it up and make sure I know what I'm doing. But I got some seedless cucumber at Costco. That was only $2 for three of those. That's a good deal. Then at Target, I picked up a small pack of these and I wanted one of the larger. These are reusable storage bags. I'm going to try them out. It's a thick rubber. They're washable. The top is like squeezes on. 
Um, I pack my lunch every day when I get back to, you know, work. And so these will be great. And I also picked up a bento box uh, for travel and also for work. And it's made from plant fiber, plastic materials. It has this thing that holds everything together. And I thought this would hold a salad for me or a lunch and a snack. This is a good thing for the way I eat. So we'll try it. They have another size. If I like this one, I'll go back and get the other size too. I'm trying to clear out some of my BPA plastics. And I believe this is BPA free. And then I grabbed some drinks. And I forgot the whole reason. One of the reasons I went to Costco was for this Downy Unstoppables. So I grabbed this one at Target and a couple drinks. So that's everything. I have just done my grocery shopping for the week and some summer planning. All right, guys, we'll chat. Oh, boy, guys. I can't even get you a full shot of the disaster. That is my bedroom. Those totes there, summer clothes. <sighs> all that on my bed, summer, winter, spring, it all needs to be taken care of. My winter comforter <laughs> needs to be bagged up and put back in the closet. And all of these drawers need organization. Ugh. All right, I will bring you back when we are done. Ah, it's not perfect. I'm still cleaning. That's donation clothes, trash. Still sweeping, dusting, but summer clothes are out. All the drawers have been tidied, except for this one. <laughs> These are a whole new level of crazy Lori. Um, this stack here is all my Ohio State Buckeyes and Columbus Blue Jackets shirts. That's all my work t-shirts for the bank I work for. We get t-shirts for a myriad of things. That's a stack of those. And that's Pelotonia. Pelotonia is that bicycle ride that I do, which I'm not sure if it's up. But I'm going to do a video on that and put the link if anybody would like to donate to some cancer research. So these need to be put away. I put all the concert t-shirts I had in storage. I don't typically wear them, but I don't want to get rid of them either. And then this is going to be sent to Upcycle. And then I have, oh, ooh, yeah, that's my, my wall hanging, my fan, my vacuum. That black bag plus another black bag plus a white bag is all going to Goodwill. Whew, I'm hot and tired. But let's finish this mess up. All right, here is the clothing donation that I've dug out of my bedroom. You've got two big bags and a small, and I hope they get put to good use. Whew, that felt good. Ah, oh, it feels so good. My bedroom is done. It's nothing fancy, but I call it home. So here's my dresser, tripod. I have a little carpet, my scale, and my fan. That's my wall, which I still haven't taken down the Christmas reindeer. And at this point, it just makes me happy. So I'll leave it. My bed. The gray blanket, although it was beautiful, I try to use that for the cats to sleep on so that they don't get fur all in my sheets. But it doesn't work. Um, over here, my side table is all my charging stuff and a couple projects. Over here, we've got a candle going and just uh, oil diffuser, although I usually just run water through that to humidify. Coffee over here. Here's my one dresser. I went through every single drawer except for that one. That top right drawer houses crazy things like my passport, birth certificates, costume jewelry, not everything but clothes. Shoes, shoe rack, just a cheap Dollar Tree shoe rack, but it holds my flip-flops famously. And like summer sandals and stuff. But flip-flops go great in there. All my scarves, which I need to purge next, but I was not in the mood for that. And then my tall dresser, t-shirts, summer shirts, leggings. I'll show you my one KonMari thing that I do, which I think is helpful. And then bras, underwear, and stuff like that. But that whole KonMari method, which is just a little much for me, except for dun, 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 leggings fit perfectly in this method. 
by color. They're a little disheveled because I was just shoving things away yesterday. But those are all leggings. Leggings, leggings. These are all my tank tops. In the summer, I wear a lot of blouses with tank tops under them because, God, you can see through everything. So these are all colored tank tops. Mostly I wear these in the summertime, like weekend wear under something. Um, but these are all my colored tank tops. My white ones and basic colors that I wear all the time are hanging in my closet. And then these are just printed, seasonal, all the things. Different leggings that I have for weekend wear. But this works perfect for me. And then I got these at the Dollar Tree. They also sell them at Ikea. So that works out perfect. That's my one nod to KonMari. I am not a minimalist. All right, now my dirty hallway out there because I need to clean that next. Everything that needed to be organized is out there. And then this is my bathroom area. So over in that doorway, we have a shower and toilet. And then over here, doesn't everybody have a cat bowl on their bathroom sink? My Wellington likes water in the morning with me. And then just all my makeups, uh, makeups over here, perfumes and stuff. And then I use command hooks for one necklace, but mostly like my hair, some necklaces and hair ties. And then in that closet, I have more command hooks holding all the rest of my long necklaces. It works here. Let me show you. It's a little dusty still, but those command hooks, one of them holds my mirror. Hi, I'm wearing my Dr. Seuss shirt. And then these command hooks hold all of my long necklaces and it just keeps them from being tangled. And I have belts in here and then other long necklace pieces and it keeps them organized and those are Dollar Tree command hooks and they've been in there for a couple years. Obviously jewelry's not heavy and they're not going to hurt my stuff. And then my feminine product, travel stuff, tooth stuff, hair stuff, moisturizer, um, just randoms, hair dryers in here, my hair brushes, I have a flat iron, an extra bath sponge, powder, and then some sunblock, but I try to keep everything organized by hair product, moisturizers and body sprays, lotions. So lotion's different than my bath. This is mostly bath and body works. This is all my t oral care, extra mouthwash, toothpaste, stuff like that. And then this, which needs to get pared down soon, is all my travel stuff. And those are just Dollar Tree containers as well. So I did it. I got my bedroom clean. That makes me so, oh, bathroom, so incredibly happy. And my fan. I'm going to tell y'all, I don't sleep a night in my life without a fan, even if it's just the noise. But what I do is um, I have to replace it about once a year, but I don't buy expensive ones. But that's my bed, my Ikea bed set, which I love. If you have an Ikea near you, I love these colors. They're, it's like a burgundy and gray. And I think it goes with my room. All right. Well, that is it. I finished my room, guys. I put all of my clothes away. I purged, purged, purged. You will have seen the picture of all the, uh, or I recorded the trash bags with the clothes I just took to Goodwill. And then I have another bag I'm sending to thread up. All right, everybody. You have a good one. Bye. Yum, yum dinner time. Here is my keto dinner. I cooked some chicken thighs, and they were marinated, marinated in this stuff called moho. I'll show you in a minute. I get it at the Dollar Tree. Chicken thighs, I made deviled eggs, and the red on there is not paprika. It's cayenne. I made them spicy today. And then some broccoli with garlic and butter. This is Crooked Marker. It is a sugar-free, keto, gluten-free, alcoholic beer it's called it's like a carbonated wine cooler it's delicious i love it um a little pricey but i usually just have one i'm having that tonight and then for dessert keto strawberry shortcake i took the cornbread recipe did not put corn seasoning flavorings in it put sugar and vanilla and then i made some homemade keto whipped cream and some strawberries with some of my sweetener on it sweetener 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 on it 
So, oh, that's my dinner tonight, guys. Hope you enjoy. Oh, let me show you that mojito stuff. Not mojito, moho. Marinade. It's $1. I probably used too much. Um, but whatever. It's got a citrus and then garlic and onions and peppers. It's not spicy at all, like as in hot. But it's very flavorful. And it is delish. Look at the hail, guys. See if I can catch some. Or not. No, but look at the hail. It is storming at my house. So on this note, look at all that hail. That white is straight up hail. I'm going to go grab some and show you. Give me a second. And we have hail. This is crazy. With the water running down my street. All right, I'm ending it here, guys. You have a good night, and I will talk to you later. Bye.